Joining us now is Krista Damiani and Kim Passaro, a two-year-old in their family, has contracted hand, foot, and mouth disease in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Krista and Kim, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Krista, let me start with you. You went to a resort with your family, and when you came back, you realized that the two-year-old was showing some symptoms. Yeah. What happened when you were in there, honey? It was, it was not a very good experience there. They were very uh, terrified. My granddaughter was having convulsions and um, had a very, very high fever. And my poor daughter, it was her first trip ever. And my daughter was so upset, she was throwing up. She just was devastated. Krista was devastated, went to the hospital. They wanted paperwork. They wanted a lot of um, paperwork. So my niece was short of breath. She was convulsing. Her fever was 104. They would not get us onto an ambulance until we had signed paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Um, how could you not send an infant in to the hospital right away while well, she's blue in the face, oxygen mask? We Nobody spoke English. We didn't know what was going on. Nobody helped us. You had lots of other um, babies coming in the hospital at the same time with the same symptoms, so the same thing happening. It was... And you were staying at a resort Sorry? and you're saying that you, they were not able to help you or they wouldn't help you? It was a little bit of both. They kind of looked at us like we had like, like nothing, no reaction. My sister was yelling for help. We had to go a kilometer away in um, a golf cart and everyone was just insurance, insurance, insurance. Kim, is your granddaughter still in the Dominican Republic or is she back home now? Oh, they're back home, thank God. I was on FaceTime with them because my daughter was so devastated. And um, the hospital actually sent them home and she started right again, right away with a, a fever and then she had to get rushed back to the hospital again in Dominican. And, you know, they were just more concerned about paperwork. And um, I know that... Uh, the last thing the kids were thinking about was reaching out to a sun wing representative. <laughs> you know, your daughter could have died. My granddaughter could have died. They were so scared in a different country and seeing all these other children coming into the same hospital with the same symptoms. Now, we just saw uh, a comment Very from sun wing. Have they reached out to you at all as of right now? No. no. So they haven't said anything at no, all, even my, the representative uh, that you booked with? No, my daughter's been trying to get a hold of them. I know she said she left many messages um, trying to get a hold of them. And she said, as of today, no one has returned her call. So my granddaughter and my daughter are home. My daughter will never travel again. She's absolutely petrified. My daughter, Krista here, thank God she was there um, to help them. My other daughter was very sick uh, from her nerves, but it's really traumatized them and, and more so for other people out there. You know, they need to know that, that we've been hearing all kinds of messages from all kinds of families saying that they experienced the same thing. Well, why wasn't people notified? You know, it, it should be something, like you said just earlier, public awareness. You know, they should be, you know, telling people that there is this in Dominican Republic. Krista, before I let you go, we just have a couple of seconds here, but how is your niece doing this hour? She's much better, thankfully. We have brought her to sick kids. Everything is A-OK, -okay, and she's playing in the snow today. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. And I know it's such a traumatizing experience that your family has had, but it's good to hear that she's doing better. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you so much.